in, I'll again state, hi, I'm Kelly Bednar, uh, the Director of Education for the BPAA, and this is uh, where to find some new bowlers uh, and, and how to keep them, uh, not just bringing in people, but uh, keeping them as long-term customers. We're going to start a little slow and give you some really easy little programs that you can, do, that you can uh, run in your centers that aren't uh, too difficult and if you aren't already doing them, uh, we hope that you'll do them soon. And then we'll move on into some, uh, as, as Bart likes to call it, uh, the meat of the, uh, of the session. So uh, this won't take us but about 30 minutes. And in 30 minutes, we, have a, we, we practically guarantee that you can put new bowlers onto your floor. This web conference today is, is primarily a focus on growing that summer league play. It's about that time to get planning for your summer leagues, and we hope that you've already started. So as we, uh, wrong button, there we go, uh, in planning for that league kickoff, we want to get you to have the know-how to uh, develop that league bowler to somebody who's going to continue to roll over to new programs and keep moving forward. So we're going to show you some, uh, at least one uh, lead development program, and who knows what will come up during the conversations and the question and answer period. And then finally, if you stick around to the very end, we can show you how you can earn a $100 gift card. So just a quick, before we kind of get into this here, just to see who's awake and who's participating, who's here, who's not here, I'd like to see, uh, does anyone currently use any type of planner in their fall, uh, in their, excuse me, in their summer kickoff? Do you uh, have a plan in place right now for growing these leagues? And on your screen you should see a, uh, a poll popping up here. Here's my poll running. I'm going to launch it right there. It is launched. Here's your poll. So if you, those of you paying attention, not paying attention, um, I know that on your, uh, even new on the Android devices, you can vote there. And I think on the Windows, or the, excuse me, the Apple products that's new too, you can now vote from the webinar where you couldn't in the past. So submit your votes there. Wow, you guys are quick. I'm impressed. I've got 80% uh, of you voting already, and I'm just going to go ahead and kill that uh, here in a second. Let me get this file up here that I want you to see. Where'd you go? Hang on a second. My apologies. Don't usually make these uh, mistakes. Get out of my screen there. Oh, geez. I hate making those kind of mistakes. No, I can't get back to that spot. There we go. Sorry about that. Give me one second. This is what I want to show you. And sorry. Close that poll. Sorry that took me so long there. I had a little button push. What you're looking at here is a summer planner. Um, and I hope that somebody uh, is already using these. And if you're not, uh, as I saw, I'll show you here the results here in just a few minutes. We got about 25% of you that uh, don't even have a plan in place just yet. And we would really like to show you how to get this started, uh, get that plan in place, make people accountable for their stuff, and make sure people are uh, getting those bowlers on the floor for you. This is a systematic, implementable, easy to do uh, 
Summer League Planner. It shows you what dates you need to be starting in. You fill in the blanks, and then you can keep referencing this, uh, having it posted in a place prominently in an area where people are accountable, and you can actually grow your leagues just by having a little bit better planning in place. And after that, uh, then you can uh, work towards the following year. It even has references to uh, when your callbacks are, what are you, who you're going to call, when you're going to call, who called. This way, you have more accountability to what's going on. Oops. Sorry. Thought that was on my screen. Okay. There's your template. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the life cycle of that bowler. We bring a new bowler in. How do we bring them in? Where do we start? A life cycle is more of a get them in, get them excited, get them committed strategy. I mean, do people wake up in the morning and just think, hey, I'm going to join a league today? Uh, and I have to tell you, we're all guilty of it. Did it myself. I'm not going to accuse anybody of doing anything I haven't done myself. Where We had the, the old strategy of putting the front counter uh, responsible for saying, would you like to join a league? to every single person that walks in the bowling center. Well, we now know that that's not necessarily the, the greatest strategy for growing your, your programs. It actually turns off a lot of people at the same time. So we want to make sure we're asking the right people to join leagues and not just everybody. Um, but did you know that you can always tell a real bowler, that, that true bowler is someone it has it's in their genetics. You know, they they wanted to be a bowler from from birth, and they did a brain scan of Bart Berger's brain, and they found that it actually has a bowling lobe. So you have all of these different things in the brain. I don't know any of those terms, but I do know I can see the bowling lobe. I know, I know. My wife keeps telling me don't tell the jokes because I'm not very funny. But I got to keep you guys' attention here some way because uh, sitting in a webinar like this can be boring and you guys can all laugh at me later or come see me at Bull Expo and say don't ever do that again. That's fine. Uh, back to the real stuff. The bowler cycle. We start with the non-bowler. Think about that person who walks in, you've never met them before. They may be walking in with a coupon that you had or a Groupon that uh, they don't have their own shoes. This is that first time truly non-bowler. What, you wouldn't ask them to join a league. It would be very intimidating to them. It would be, why are you asking me to join a league? Well, we want to work them through. We want to get them excited about being there before we get them committed. So we're going to work these non-bowlers towards casual bowlers where they're coming in more frequently. And then you have your casual frequent bowler. We all have those casual frequent. You know what the casual bowler is? We see them every few months. They're in the bowling center. But that casual frequent bowler can be at lunchtime. Somebody's coming in and bowling on a regular basis. I remember we had this one gentleman in our center that would come in every Friday. Nobody ever asked, or every day practically at lunch. And nobody ever asked him to join lunch. So join a league. Finally, somebody did. It was the right time. He joined his whole family, husband, wife, kids, bowled in the center for several years. So that frequent casual is where we drive them towards that new league bowler. And he and his family became avid bowlers, ended up bowling in tournaments and things of that nature. So think about that cycle of a bowler and where is each individual person in my bowling center and how do I move them along this life cycle? We go into great depth on this particular concept of moving that person along a life cycle in the uh, promoting, inside, promoting sales inside your center online course in the online program. Well, the key is how do we move them? We move them through sampling. And sampling is done at every one of those levels. You can do, like I said, Groupons, free game passes, coupons for the, the to bring that new bowler in. We've all done the mailers, the direct mailers and things of that nature. You can go to corporations and do uh, corporate invitations, things to know, free sampling. Then as they move along, you can do some buy one, get ones for the frequent casual players to get them even more frequent. And then as we move them along, we turn them into league bowlers. League bowlers are the ultimate of the frequency model because they're coming into your center for 8, 10, 12, 20, 32 weeks. But we want to be careful because we don't really want to mix in these first-time bowlers 
with these bowlers with experience. And that's kind of a recipe for disaster. Uh, studies have shown that short seed season programs get them in so we can use short seasons to kind of get them in the, into, the, into the league system and get them excited with those and then add them into longer term programs. One of the most successful programs over the last calendar year has been Bowling 2.0. I hope everybody out here has, has heard of Boeing 2.0, and I'm going to do a real quick one here. Um, raise your hands if you have heard of Boeing 2.0. I want to see, uh, I, uh, and then I'm going to erase them, uh, and then we're going to see, well, good, 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 good. We got uh, well over half of you have heard of it. So I'm going to ask the next question, and I think you can figure this one out pretty quick. I'm going to put all your hands down, and and we're going to say how many actually have purchased or have in their in their bowling center the bowling 2.0 kit who has the kit in their center now i can't be more hands than the last one how's that possible yeah i got more hands this time than i had on the last time maybe you're actually paying attention this time i'm going to ask one more question how many of you have actually ran a bowling 2.0 session in your bowling centers Come on, Daryl, I saw your hand up. You, you haven't, uh, there you go. Ah, that's a little lower number, but I'll tell you what. Um, don't be intimidated by the program. The program is a very good program that uh, you can uh, run. It's only four short weeks. It's only uh trying to say because this question came up last time do you need instructors no you don't need instructors you don't need a Carolyn Doran Ballard on your staff you don't need a a Steve Padilla on your staff you don't need those high high end in fact some of the tests that we've seen in Boeing 2.0 the ones that had the highest level coaches were the most least successful it was almost uh, uh, intimidating to some of the players. All you need is a, somebody who's a level one instructor, somebody that can cover that basic stuff. And we encourage you to, to get started. Just grab one somebody who's got a good enthusiasm and, and a good a passion for the game. Let them get started with the videos. It's a good program. If you haven't already done it, the key here is that you get to uh, roll everybody over and into a program in five weeks. You do an upfront payment versus a, a, a weekly fee if you charge it all for Boeing 2.0. I'm going to ask one more question here. Um, how many of you, by a show of hands, actually ran the program and didn't charge anybody? Uh, didn't charge them for the actual program? Wow, it's just about everybody who has run the Boeing 2.0 is not charging. I'm uh, glad to hear it personally, but again, we're not telling you how to run your business. If you want to run with charging uh, and it works for you, go for it. Because if you're looking about, now I'm going to working my way into the league stuff here. When you think about this, if you're going to run some sort of a league, you just back up that start date four weeks and say, okay, we're going to run the Boeing 2.0 right here. We're going to run that Boeing 2.0 and we're going to roll it right into the into the whatever league program we have coming up next. If you haven't already, and there's only a few of you that have not already done so, um, the Boeing 2.0 materials are all available uh, for you for purchase from the BPAA for $49.95. Uh, but you can download all of the materials other than the DVD itself. So if you've got the DVD in hand, you can download all of that stuff for printing and do all your own promotional stuff right from the, Boeing, the My BPA section of BPAA.com. Uh, here's here's some league sessions that we're talking about. Again, back to some real simple programs, the 8 for 8 for the kids, 12 for 12, 10 for 10. Lots of different ways of running some some short season leagues. Remember we talked about we want to bring those those casuals to frequently, to frequent casuals, and, and frequent casuals will move them towards the leagues. How do we get those those casual bowlers to come in and make a small commitment? 8 for 8 for the kids, 
the 12 for 12 and 10 for 10s more for adults. We actually have 10 for 10 for kids too. All of these are available for you all your, to purchase the, the programs for all of those programs through April 30th right now. Um, you can get those at missionpossiblebowling.com. All of those show up there. You can see all the information there. I could go into depth and have a whole session on that stuff alone. But if you haven't already run these programs, these are great stepping stones from Bowling 2.0 towards that frequent casual bowlers uh, timeline, trying to meet them, get them, somebody, if you get them four weeks of, of bowling 2.0 and a 12.12, that's a 16-week league, and they didn't even realize it. Now you can roll them in, if you time it all out right, you can roll them into the fall season and have them going another 30, and they bowled the entire year and didn't even realize it. There's definitely a percentage of that that happens. Okay, we've covered a lot of material in such a short period of time. We're uh, already 15 minutes in here, so let's get to uh, the can't miss summer program. If you if you haven't run this, I saw this run. Oh, it was probably 1996, the first time I saw it run, and it's been run uh, well ever since. Um, this program is we call the Manager's Invitation League. Well, it's it's simply a uh, well. A short league where uh, you, the manager, or a uh, person of supervisory, I prefer the manager or proprietor to be honest with you, uh, selects specific fall league bowlers in your personally, that's the key, personally inviting them to bowl with the proprietor um, or the general manager in a special league, special by invitation only, the, thus the name. The key here, as I said, is the personal invitation because now they feel special and uh, the, the, the format is designed to be fun and, and should include um, some sort of a discount for them, a uh, immediate gratification, some sort of a prize that they would get each, day, each week, the uh, and then maybe some sort of a food or beverage special each week. Uh, and then, of course, the kind of I think it's the secret of the sauce. It's the beat the manager's team incentive. If you're, you're, they beat your team, they get their, uh, their money refunded for, the, uh, for that night of bowling. And the whole key is to kind of balance that out where you're only beating half the people. So they have some, they, they win. And so they feel like, wow. But here's the trick. Don't give them back their money. On the end of that night, wait till they come back. Hand them the money when they come back the following week to bowl. Hey, congratulations, you won. Here's your 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 uh, lineage back. Um, what are they going to do with that money? Well, they've already got the money appropriated for tonight, anyways. Well, now they're going to go spend it in the bar. They're going to go spend it in the food and beverage. Maybe give it to their kids to go play in the game room. They're going to spend that money back in your bowling center, anyways. Trust me, they do. Um, it's a, uh, uh, a program that has been proven to work. Now, I, I can hear you. You're asking, I can just hear this, you know, Donnie wants to bowl in this league. And I said, um, the, uh, uh, I never thought about asking Donnie. I really didn't know if I really wanted Donnie in this thing. But you don't want to make him, you don't want to make him uh, upset or anything. So what you do is you just tell him, hey, uh, you didn't get one, Donnie? Really? You were supposed to. Hey, I got one right here in my pocket. I got one. I got yours right here in my pocket. I'll give you another one. Or, oh, hey, Donnie, I, I got yours. I saved it back. I just want to make sure you got it. You got it specifically from me and not from somebody else. And you get them in. When was the last time you had somebody come to you and beg to bowl in a league? Really? So you think about it. It'd be nice uh, to have somebody asking you to join this league. So again, this idea, this webinar here is not supposed to be uh, just giving you some ideas. We're actually going to give you some take-home ideas here. Now, this is the idea. Here's the invitation uh, already made for you. We have it in uh, a PDF form that will uh, email you a Dropbox link. Uh, with this in a PDF form, and then also if you request, if you're somebody who does the Adobe Illustrator stuff and the uh, IE stuff and whatever else, we can get that to you in that version upon your request. I do request, I do suggest, not request, Kelly, keep your head in this thing. Um, 
that you you do this on a good card stock, you know, the 80-pound card stock that you would get. Don't do this on some cheap piece of paper. Make it look like as, as fancy as, as your wedding invitations would be. Just just make it look nice. Make them feel special for joining your, your, uh, your league, your program. I know we're moving fast, but let's keep moving here. Oh, one more thing just keep in mind. This whole presentation will be available uh, for viewing uh, on uh, our YouTube channel afterwards, but also all the slides, if there's a slide they want, I'll, uh, I'll have that PDF available where it can be too. The, I had a question just come in here. It says, can, we, uh, can the info be ac accessed where we, to make copies of what was discussed? Yes. In fact, I'm going to give you the actual fly. If you're talking about this, the, that uh, invitation, that card, I'm actually going to give you the file to, to, to print out, edit it, and do whatever you want to to it to make it your own personal manager's invitation league card. So you'll have all that uh, uh, for you. But great question. And, and let them come. Let them fly. It, it's, uh, it, it, you don't have to wait to the end. We'll keep going here. We're still doing well on time. If you haven't seen the League Development Retention Best Practices Guide that was created by the League Development Committee here at the BPAA uh, throughout 2012, they launched it in the, the, near the end of 2012, so it's not quite a year and a half old, we encourage you to... Uh, 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 to, to download this program, this, this guide. This is available for you at download, again, at mybpaa.com. And uh, I'll also put it, I've also put it into the Dropbox link. But that Dropbox link is going to be temporary for this session. Then I'll take it back down. But you can always access this at uh, the mybpaa.com web, uh, website. Oops. Hang on a second. Yeah. There. Um, we now have, I want to ask another poll question here. Um, how familiar, since we talked about the My BPA section, how familiar are you with that My BPA section of the BPA website? Have you, um, have you ever heard of it? Um, you tried it, but you couldn't figure it out? Uh, what? Because right now we're in the process of uh, redesigning that BPA website, and we're trying to figure out what would be the best way to make this work for you. So your feedback will be greatly appreciated um, as as we develop the improvements to that My BPA website. I personally think that it is uh, number five there, but that's just me, now that most of you have already voted, uh, that uh, I think that it is one of BPA's greatest, best-kept resources. Everything that you need to download is there. Let me show it to you real quick here. I've got it up on, on, a, on a page here. Um, uh, I'll slide this over here. Come on over here. And close that. There you are. If you've ever been to the BPA website, right up here, see this is where I'm, my, my mouse is uh, trailing here and flashing that black bar there, the My BPAA. You can sign in here, and I'm just going to, since I saw Gerald on here, I'll use his. Um, that's. Uh, it's your member number is your username, and your password is BPAA, so it's easy enough. And if you don't know your username or your member number, uh, make sure that you uh, ask your proprietor or give us a call. We'll gladly give that number to you because this is your way of getting all, to all these resources. You think of all the resources that are available to you, uh, your Pepsi menu builder, all the Strike 10 materials, website hosting, uh, education. But here, uh, business trends, all of this stuff and is available to you uh, on this website. Bowler and League Staff Development, the Bowler's Guide, everything is here for you. So, um, going back to our presentation. Oop, wrong button. I did it again. That's better. Still, let's do this. Ah, there it is. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, um, yeah, I told you I was going to tell you how you can make a $100 gift card right now. Well, 
if you've invested a thousand dollars, if you invested a thousand dollars into something and you were guaranteed to make three thousand dollars, would you do it? I, I would do it. Well, management school coming up here April sixth to the through the eleventh uh, in uh, in Arlington, Texas, has four spots left. If you are interested in um, learning how to grow your business and have a guaranteed ROI, the course is only nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and you are guaranteed to make at least that back. We just got done with Florida. I know we had a lot of people there that uh, were excited about that program. We had 37 people in that place, in that in that class, and now we have only four spots left. But you have to ask facts. We got a lot of. We have the NCAA coming in here, and uh, your hotels will be very difficult to get. We've got four spots held for you. So if you are interested, here's how you earn the gift card. So if you want more ideas than we've just covered here, we've just hit the top of the iceberg on what's going on uh, at the management school. We have more interaction and more things going on. We also have a, a, a flash drive. You had, somebody had asked about the materials. We have a flash drive that you leave that has more than 75 files, templates, uh, PDFs, uh, spreadsheets, all of those things that you can take home, that alone would be worth uh, several hundred dollars. So hope you will be interested in calling those. If you register for uh, this program, at the program you'll see a uh, hey, warm weather. <laughs> Weather's not guaranteed. However, uh, we have a uh, jump ahead here. There you go. We'll hand you a $100 gift card when you show up on the, on the 6th. Uh, if you if you register, register before Friday. And that, if you do the math, I can do that math, okay. $8.99 uh, with your mind, minus your gift card there. So if you think you can use $3,000, you're interested at all, uh, let us know. We'd be glad to help you out. Um, so before I get to the uh, question and answers, I do have one more poll I want to throw up here. Um, I want to know whether this was of any uh, value to you. So if you could tell me, of the things we've shown here, which things do you think you'll be using uh, in the near future? Are you still with me? I haven't lost everybody, have I? No, you've still got a good number of people here. While you guys are taking that poll here real quick, I'm just making a couple comments that came in while we were I was uh, rambling on there. Um, a comment was made that the uh, Boeing 2.0 video is great to use for party hosts for instruction. You use it to teach your party hosts what to be teaching. I hadn't used thought about using it in that way. What a great, unique way of using it. Thank you for su the suggestion, Mr. Morrow. Um, Great, you guys are awesome here. Let me uh, close this poll because you guys, you know, just, just about everybody of you have, have voted already. All right, so questions. Um, I've been answering the questions uh, as they've went along. I had a couple that came in that uh, for the program. If you have any other questions, you can either A, raise your hand, and I'll open up your mic and uh, let you ask your question verbally, uh, or B, uh, you can... Uh, Type in your question there into the little question thing, and I'll gladly uh, answer it for you. Oh, here's Gerald. I misspoke for Gerald. Gerald, I'm going to open you up here and let you tell tell them about what you do with the party hosts here um, and how you use them. Gerald, can you talk now? Let's see if I can hear you. Yeah, are you there, Kelly? I am here. First time caller, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> long time listener. <laughs> yes, yes. No, we actually um, found out that with the Bowling 2.0 and especially the A for 8, that a lot of times your party hosts have the personality to engage and interact with people uh, on their level. And a lot of times your party hosts are young, young kids and adults, and they don't have a lot of bowling experience. So using the 2.0 coaching part of it and showing them how to teach it uh, works well and they're able to instill that in the customers and in the people in the courses and they don't get too far over their head like you were saying you don't need the silver level coaches and all that sometimes 
the best people are the ones that actually have the personality, not so much the coaching experience. Wow, that, I mean that's that's a, a great use of the tool. I again, like I said, I hadn't really thought of that, and even I took another direction. So, a couple more questions that people are not as uh, uh, a little more shy than Gerald here. I'm going to mute you back up again, Gerald. A couple questions that have come in. How do you get your member number? Very easy. If if you're a proprietor and you you don't have it, it was on your invoice when you paid to become a member again. Just call the office here. Uh, and we'll gladly get it or send me an email, kelly at bpa.com or education at bpa.com, any one of those. Uh, any one of us can get that stuff to you really quickly. The password is simply BPAA, so everybody has the same uh, same password as you, as you go. Um, next question was, uh, will there be any management schools coming up in Illinois or nearby at risk of losing a sale to this course. Um, actually, yes, David. We'll be having a course in uh, northern Indiana in Merrillville at the, what's it called, the Radisson Star now? I remember what it used to be called, the Holiday Star Theater there in northern Indiana that will be hosted by the state of Indiana. However, that is a shortened, abbreviated management school. It is only three days. Uh, doesn't have any of the soft skills that we teach from a management perspective, but it does have all the marketing, has all the food and beverage, the uh, parties and groups, and uh, also uh, the um, operational measurements, if you will. Uh, and, and if you didn't see, I sent you out in a chat the link to the Dropbox, but just as a note, I will be also sending an email to everyone who attended today uh, directly with that link in there. So you will have this uh, uh, available to you. The, the PDF of the presentation, I'll drop that into the Dropbox file, and then I'll also post it on the BullingUniversity.net site as we do uh, always with our presentations. Uh, let's see here. The other, I'm trying to find, answer all these questions we can because we were already, I promise you, a half an hour or three. Hey, this is questions. We'll take what questions that come up. Um, do you keep the manager's invitation league small? Great question. Um, hey, if I can fill a house of, of three by 40 with a manager's league invitation league, I have no problem with that. Uh, there's no reason why this can't be uh, a big one. This would be something that is a... You, the, the, but the key is you don't want to do this at a prime time. I've heard people, oh, I want to put it at 6.30. No, no, no. What time on, a, uh, on the summer session do you have a hole that you need to fill, that you just can't get people into the bowling center? Uh, maybe it's a you know, Saturday night. Maybe it's a, it's a Tuesday night. I, I don't know. I know uh, Gerald did talk about his bowling center. It flips over. It's tough to get a lane at night in his bowling center during the summertime. Uh, excuse me, during the day, but very easy to get a lanes at night. So at uh, maybe Tuesday night, it would be a time you'd want to run this. And it, no, it doesn't have to be small. It can be quite large for that matter. So... All righty. Uh, anybody else have any more questions? I don't see any more hands raised. Let me scroll down make sure I didn't miss anybody's hands. I don't see any here. Um, so uh, there's so much more. I thank everybody for coming. We appreciate all the questions, great questions today. Uh, we had a lot of people in attendance. We, we will post this. I told you on YouTube. You'll get the, if you missed watching, the. I saw some people came in quite late. You're welcome. I'll post this. Uh, you know, YouTube takes a little while to process it, so it'll be up by the, let's say, end of business day today. I'll have that up on, on the website. We do appreciate everybody's time. We know it's valuable to you and taking the time to join us to learn a few little tricks. If you have any questions, you want to go a little bit deeper, please feel free to call us here at the Education Department. That's what we're here for. There's, uh, we'll, if, we don't only have, if we don't have the answer, we have a whole committee that we'll turn to to find the answers. And, and if they don't have the answers, trust me, the, those people on our committee, they know everybody. They'll go out and help find that answer for you. That's what the BPA is here for. We consider ourselves extensions of, of your employment. We're here as staffers for you. Thank you again. We'll see you next time. Uh, well, hear you next time on our next webinar. Thank you, Ken, for joining us.